So consider this the introduction to my music career. <laughs> Just kidding. This is nothing like that. I just sometimes think I'm funny, you know? So it's my last week in Europe and my last week of this six month international trip that I've been on, which it feels crazy to say. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that in less than a week, I will be back in the United States for the first time in half a year. The past six months, while incredibly beautiful and so amazing in many different ways, also brought with it a lot. And I mean, a lot of thoughts on what it is I'm doing and what it is I'm doing with my life. And now I finally know. I know exactly what it is I want to do with my life, and I've made a plan, and I know that it's going to play out exactly how I imagined it to. <laughs> Just kidding. In all honesty, I've spent most of the past six months having no idea what's to come. And to be quite honest, I still don't really know. Last year was the best year of my freelancing career, and it damn near burnt me out completely and I still haven't taken quite the break that I've needed and I think I'm still trying to recover the flame and recover from the burnout. I think balance is something that I need to find a bit more this year. A balance between work and play. And since what I love to play with is the same thing that I used to work, it can get tough. It all comes down to me holding myself accountable, making sure to have experiences and create memories without having a camera in my hand the whole time. To remember how important it is to experience life not just through a viewfinder and a lens, but through my own two eyes.
So back to the original question of what's next. Well, the travels and the slowdown that I'm looking forward to don't actually stop for another two-ish months of being back, but I'm pretty excited for what's actually happening in those two months. First up is a week in New York City, and I know, I know, another city, who am I? But thanks for NFT NYC, and I get to meet a ton of new friends, which I'm real excited for. Photography homies who I've been friends with, some for like four years online, but I've yet to actually meet. It's gonna be real cool, and damn near as cool as seeing my photo in a photo gallery for the first time ever. And then I'll be back to New Hampshire for about another week to hopefully rest for a few days, kind of get my bearings of being back in the U.S., try to recover a bit from all the travel before heading down to Nashville for a week. And I'm actually working with one of my favorite restaurants down there, creating some videos for them. But more on that later. And then back up to New Hampshire for my little sister's wedding, crazy. And another short little break with maybe a cabin stay or two, you know, I mean it has been a while, I kind of want to get back into it a little bit, before heading down to West Virginia and North Carolina for some Appalachian exploring, doing some work with the tourism department and another cabin. Making a little road trip out of it, heading to Missouri to work with another cabin, see my grandparents, and one of my favorite bands, Billy Strings. And then wrapping it all up by driving back to New England, where I'm actually planning to, wait for it, build a tiny house of my own. Now, no hammer has been swung or anything like that, but it is something that I've been wanting to do for so many years now. Garnering inspiration and ideas from all the beautiful tiny homes that I've been so fortunate to experience in all of my years traveling around. And I mean, to be honest, I think I'm in some serious need of slowing down. Um, I've spent the past, you know, four, five years at this point in traveling, you know, pretty much full time and never really taking a break for myself. And especially with like last year and, you know, as amazing as it all was and how, you know, how much I accomplished and everything, like, it was close to burning me out. I was, by the end of it, I was, I was struggling. And, you know, getting to New Zealand, which is like one of the most beautiful places on earth, and I was just like, pff, exhausted. And, you know, still kind of am because it's been like a, you know, like nonstop little journey. Um, so the idea of just, you know, spending my summer in New England, um, slowing down, waking up for sunrise each day, you know, spending the day outside, working with my hands, creating something tangible, I mean, like a home of my own, um, you know, documenting it all, you know, having all these different like creative outlets, you know, swimming in lakes and rivers and hiking and picking fresh fruit and vegetables and just slowing down and not feeling like I need to be anywhere except there, you know, it sounds, sounds really nice. And yeah, I mean, I don't really know, I genuinely <laughs> don't know what's actually going to happen. I'm sure it's not all going to go to plan. I'm sure it's not all going to be sunshine and rainbows, um, but I'm excited for it, truly. Um, it'll be nice to spend a summer back in New Hampshire for the first time in you know, a while. Um, but yeah, all right. I think that's it for now. I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Peace.